कम्युनिटीज इन कर्नाटक बोम्बई गवर्नमेंट हैज चीटेड द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब कम्युनिटीज इन कर्नाटक दे अर्लियर रिप्लाइड इन पार्लियामेंट डिनाइंग एक्सटेंशन ऑफ रिजर्वेशन टू मेंबर्स ऑफ एस सी एस टी but the reply given on 14th of march 2023 on the floor of the parliament now say three things number 1 there is no proposal with government of india to increase sc reservation in terms of the nag mohan das committee from 15% to 17% the reply in parliament also says there is no proposal to enhance reservation for sts in karnataka from 3% to 7% the reply also says there is no proposal to increase the limit of reservation from 50% to 56% a ceiling that has been imposed by indira sani case the reply also says that government of karnataka has not even submitted a proposal for increasing sc and st reservation to government of india we all know that the constitution as framed by baba saheb ambedkar Pandit Nehru, Sardar Patel, Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad, and our freedom fighters currently has been interpreted in a manner where any proposal which enhances reservation, the law will only be valid if it is placed in the ninth schedule of the Constitution of India, or a constitutional amendment has to be brought in. amending article 15 and 16 of the constitution whereby the ceiling on reservation either qua specific state like the state of karnataka or nationally has to be increased these are the only two ways bombay government and bjp played a fraud on sc and sts by passing a fraudulent fake law the law passed in the karnataka assembly is a waste piece of paper as per government of india it's a law that will not give even an iota of reservation enhancement to sc and sts for government of india has denied that reservation to sc and sts of karnataka on the floor of the parliament in a written reply government of india has denied that they will not increase the limit of reservation from 50% to 56% government of india has denied that any proposal even has been received from government of karnataka to enhance reservation in absence of these three what is the meaning of the fake law passed on in the assembly it's a fraud played by basavaraj bommai nalin kumar kadil mr narendra modi mr jp natta and all the bjp leaders mlas on the scs and sts of the state chief minister basavaraj bommai should hang his head in shame for duping and deceiving members of scheduled caste and scheduled tribe today only he has to resign if he has some shame left and apologize he must resign as chief minister you must resign as cm mr basavaraj bommai for duping and deceiving the members of sc sts all union ministers all four union ministers of bjp from karnataka in government of india must today resign from their ministerships for duping and deceiving the members of 
एससीज एंड एसटीज इन कर्नाटका ऑल एससी एंड एसटी मेंबर्स ऑफ बीजेपी टुडे हैव लॉस्ट देयर राइट्स टू बी एमएलए और इवन मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट दे मस्ट फोर्थ विद रिजाइन from their respective mla ships and mp ships and go back to people of karnataka the members of scs and sts will not forget you each member of the bjp who goes to polls will be punished by our brothers and sisters of who are members of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes for deceiving duping and fraudulently trying to project something which is false to members of scs and sts today cm must resign today all four union ministers must resign all members of the cabinet and all members of sc sts who are mps and mlas of bjp must tender their resignation today if they have some shame left